Deflection Point comes from our friends at Think Wrong, and it's a great way to set up a team to start imagining uh, an awesome potential future. And so what you ask them to set up at first, or you'll have set up at first, is an initial horizontal line and then a diagonal line going up from that. And so you'll ask people to imagine initially the awesome future, things have all worked right. What does that look like for your project or initiative if everything had worked out? That goes up above this diagonal point on the line and then the horizontal line ends up being a space for them to think about what happens if we didn't do anything and if things just remained the same. Business as usual, what would happen to this project or what would happen to this initiative and people generate pieces there. After that happens, you have a dotted line that you can generate that, that splits those pieces in half and you ask folks to think about what are called in this activity anchors and rockets and so anchors are those things that pull us back down to the status quo give people an opportunity to generate those pieces and what might be dragging us down in moving to that ultimate point that we're hoping to get to and then up above that dotted line you ask people to think about rockets those things that ultimately would propel us to this hoped for awesome future everything has worked out beyond our wildest dreams and then that's an opportunity for you to dig into a conversation about, okay, how do we make sure that we are leveraging these, these potential rockets and setting us up to have those rockets in place? And how are we gonna mitigate these anchors, these things that potentially culturally are getting in our way or just can be blocks that pull us back down to just doing the status quo? To lean into Think Wrong's methodology a little bit deeper, a couple of things could be helpful to think about. One is they talk about that status quo being the predictable path. So if we didn't do anything, what is the predictable outcome that we would just expect if we just kept doing what we're doing today? And then the bold path is that big opportunity place that's up above that 45 degree line. Another thing that they typically do is they'll, they'll put a piece of tape on the wall that's the horizontal line and then starting on the left hand side that 45 degree line and then they'll collect the, the predictable and bold path first. And after those are collected, then they'll insert that line splitting that empty space in half. And it's a really interesting move because it focuses folks early on just on those extremes and then we start to zero in on that center and why we might want to pay attention to it. Another thing that's interesting is they collect it all in the moment. So as any participant writes an idea down, one per sticky, they say it out loud and throw it on the board. So this is kind of hive mind effect that's happening because you hear and see what everyone's contributing as they're thinking about it and adding it. And then of course, a debrief's always important after everything's done to step back and you know, look at like, what are those things that are holding us down? Those anchors to Eric's point, how we mitigate them and, and how we, what are those rockets we might really wanna uh, grab onto and, and go for a ride.